it was very, very cold though. So we, we had to do some, even some visual effects to get the steam off their bodies because oh, really? it's so, winter in Canada and there is weather. Hi, Charlotte. Uh, Hello. Hello. So we're, we're taking this in uh, English since I know a lot of people are waiting to uh, hear about uh, the new TV show uh, Shogun. Uh, that has been in the making for a, a long uh, time. And, and you may have spoken many times about other projects. And I have always asked at the end, how about Yeah, Shogun? you always ask me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and now here we are, only a, a, a few weeks from the premiere. And I've been able to watch eight of the 10 episodes and yours is the third. Uh, so could you tell me a little bit about um how how you got involved in this project because it's been going on for for ages and we're finally here yeah well well we shot actually quite a while ago and and it's being released now and i think it's a good release date because people seem to be very much expecting it and wanting it uh, i got involved because i knew the showrunner from another show i did with him he called counterpart and yeah. uh with jk Which Simmons. We, yeah exactly which is another great show, I think. And they contacted me when I was still in New Zealand on the first season of Lord of the Rings. And they wanted to book me and get me involved for one episode, or actually for maybe for several episodes in the beginning. And then it actually only became one because I, I moved on to the continental after. But but uh, so I, I thought that was just very exciting that they thought of me and uh, it felt like the right thing to do. I after uh, Lord of the Rings, it was to do something historical, still something big and, and very visual, but not fantasy, something more close to history. And uh, and so I uh, so that's how I really got involved. They, they called me up and uh, booked me a long time in advance. And then we ended up shooting in, uh, I think it was in uh, 21, actually, in November 21. Yeah, so it's been, been quite some time now. And uh, I, I don't know, were you aware of, of the book and um, the miniseries from, from the 80s? Uh, yes, from I, I, I knew the miniseries and I also know the book. And I'm a big fan of all the kind of samurai stories. Uh, there, there are, uh, I mean, I, I find historical pieces and it's specifically something about Japan very exciting. There is a, there's actually a video game that I think somebody's going to do soon uh, called The Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, yeah. it's also summarized as absolutely gorgeous. So um, I thought it was a very exciting and visual project to be involved in. And before they even called me in New Zealand, uh, I think that Justin and I had lunch in LA long before that to discuss this project because it was held up by COVID uh, for a while because it was supposed it was meant to, to be shot in Japan. Because as you can see, it has a lot of Japanese actors and there's a lot of Japanese yeah. speak in, in the series. So he he so that had ch to change because of they couldn't travel anymore. And so it was set in Vancouver and they rebuilt all of uh, Osaka in uh, the harbor and everything in Vancouver. Yeah. And if we would speak a, a little bit uh, about your episode in, in particular, um, I don't want to spoil anything, of course, uh, but uh, for an, anyone who has seen the uh, original miniseries or, or read the book, uh, you don't go that far out from um, the, the source material, it, but there are some uh, small changes. And I, I just really liked this, the, the third episode of, of the season. And I, I would actually probably go as far as to say that it's my favorite episode of television this year uh, that I've seen wow. so far. We, we're only in February, <laughs> but but okay. uh, I, I think it will hold up uh, quite a bit because there, there's a lot to unpack in that episode. Uh, and uh, it's hard to talk about without spoiling uh, anything, but... but Yeah, because I can't explain it, the, the most difficult scene that I can't really talk about because it would be a spoiler... Yeah. Is 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 how to show something without showing it. You see what I mean? Uh, exactly. And 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 I don't know which director it was, but I know it's one of the big ones that said um, that 
if you show the audience that there is a bomb underneath the table, uh, <laughs> then everyone will be like uh, expecting uh, what is going to happen. And it will yeah. heighten the, the tensions and, and kind of your episode ha have a lot of, of that, that we, the audience yeah. and a few characters in the show are, are in on something and the tension just keeps on building if to see if the other people in, in the episode will uh, learn uh, what's actually, actually going on. Uh, and I, I think that was really uh, handled well in this episode. Yeah, I think you talk about Hitchcock actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I was I wasn't sure if it, if it was Hitchcock or Orson Welles or, or some, some, but yeah, yeah. I, I think now when you say, it. yeah, no, I mean I think the TV is very much tension all the time because you need to keep people's attention. In the movie, in the theater, you can actually have surprises because you actually pay your ticket. You're sitting in a dark room, and you're not going to leave. You're going to be pretty patient, and you like yeah. to get surprised. And the ending is very important because you want to recommend the film to somebody. In TV, I find that the tension that keeps you going, it's so important. So you need to show the audience enough and not too much, but you need to keep their attention constant and keep up the tension because that's what makes you go into the next episode and the next episode also and not go over to another series. Yeah. So, so, so uh, if you have already... <clears throat> practiced how, how how to talk about this episode without spoiling it how would you uh, describe uh, what what we get to see in, in this uh, the third episode it's hard because it what it's it's pretty hard to tell the story i mean i, I i'm afraid of spoiling this it because i can't say really what what happens and what the whole second part is but it's it's I mean it's it's really continuing. It was so well written by Justin and Rachel as well. But it's really continuing the tension, the character relationships, and the games they're playing. And um, I love everything that Toronaga is saying because he obviously he's saying one thing to his son towards the end. He's saying you 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 be aware of your friends. I mean. It's not your enemies that are going to try to kill you. It's always your friends. And he is, and it's also very interesting that we shot almost everything in Japanese. And it's a lot about the Japanese culture and how they view life in this. And the more you're going to get into the series, as you have probably seen, the more you realize that Blackthorn will realize that um, the most, I mean, how important honor is for them and to have an honorable death doesn't matter how you live or, or whether you continue living. The most important that you keep your honor. Yeah, and they have exactly. a totally different way of seeing it. And it's interesting how the two of them, he, how Tornaga is able to change Blackthorn as well because he's pretty, I mean, he's just a pirate in the beginning. He's just not. And then uh, he, he, by discovering this culture, he becomes a different person and he's he tries to do the right thing, and I, I, I really ha think he has a very interesting character arc in this. But it was yeah. very special because we obviously had to shoot everything in Japanese, and I don't speak much Japanese. So uh, we, I had a translator on set. Some actors didn't even speak English, and so I had a translator on set. And then I had a script advisor who was bilingual, and she would have to show me what line they were saying. So she would show me the English line. Uh, and when I was seeing the English line, that's when uh, to know what they were saying in Japanese, so I actually could direct their performances. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Uh, it was very I, interesting. Too. I mean, you get used to it after a few days. You yeah. actually feel like you feel like you understand what they're saying. It's very strange. Yeah, you get used to it uh, in a way. Exactly, and and uh, Hiroyuki Sanada uh, yeah. is just uh, amazing in uh, in. Uh, in the role of, of Toronaga, uh, yeah. and that, that's through, throughout the the yeah. all the episodes uh, I've seen. And I, not to spoil anything again, but but I also liked that I won't say who, but uh, that little smile at the very last seconds uh, of this mm -hmm. episode. It's even barely a second, but you get to see that little smile and and what that will bring for for the the rest of the season uh, later no on. i love the last scene we there was it was very very cold though so we we had to do some even some visual effects to get the steam off their bodies 
because oh, really? it's so, winter in Canada and they were swimming. So I can say that they were swimming. We don't know. I think. Uh, yeah. Someone swims. That, that's not Someone, a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. We can't say. We have really have to be careful. I have to be careful of these sports. Yeah. But you want uh, to talk well, about You want to say things, but you, there's not much you can say. We could talk afterwards. Yeah, exactly. We, we'll, we'll just have to do that. And, and going on off on the spoilers uh, of this show, is there anything you can tell about uh, what, what the other show a lot of people are waiting for, which is the second season of... Uh, that's the, very that's, that's even more closed off right now uh, I've, yeah. I've been told to basically I, I, what I know and what I can say yeah uh, so uh, before we're, we're done uh, I, I just uh, wanted to ask you if there's anything from the original uh, miniseries uh, about uh, Shogun uh, that you kind of looked for yourself and wanted to make some kind of uh, like Easter egg kind of things uh, back to the original uh, miniseries no, I, I, or, or I, if you I wanted think, to keep them separate I think it was a separate it was a different take the scene that we're talking about that we couldn't show uh, that was that was the scene that I thought was a very difficult scene to shoot actually because it's so simple and yeah. but it has and and that didn't I, I was trying to see how they did it in the previous and I said no I have to do it different because I don't believe it entirely this way yeah. yeah but but i think that no it was not so much easter egg i think that what was very interesting was to shoot in a different language to it was much more i think this one about the japanese culture that we had a lot of advisors and consultants uh, everywhere to um to tell us what the actors could do what what the characters could do and not do to so to be close to reality there were even we had makeup artists and hairdressers. Jap they were Japanese. They were came in from Japan. So and the most difficult, strangely enough, but what was really difficult was the weather. The weather was crazy. It was a time in Vancouver when it rained from morning to evening for one month. We were constantly flooded everywhere. And I, when we finished talking, I'm going to send you a little picture you could use that I took if you want to. But it's it's in the woods. Yeah. It's only, you only see umbrellas. And, and I had Aurel, uh, the DP, and he was saying, how can I light anything? I, all I see, I can't light, I can't pre-light this scene. All I see is umbrellas. And obviously it was raining so much and we couldn't damage the beautiful hairdo and, and all the hair yeah, and the clothes. Yeah. But then we couldn't light it either because there were umbrellas everywhere. And we, 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 all we did was building shelters to, to have them stand under something so they wouldn't get wet. And it was, it was a crazy time. It never, never stopped raining. The gaffer... I mean, the roads were cut off around Vancouver and our gaffer who lived outside of Vancouver, he, I think that one day he had to be picked up a helicopter to take him to the set because he couldn't drive on the roads. Yeah. So, well, so it was a very crazy time and there was nothing to do in Vancouver. All Arin and I did, we were hanging out on weekends and watching movies. There was nothing. Yeah. And, and, just, and then there was a pandemic as well. So, so. And there was a pandemic. Yeah, you couldn't go, you couldn't do anything. You could go to see yeah. the movie thing. So it was a okay. special, it was a special time, but it's, it was a very, it was a very exciting, uh, very, very exciting. And I was very impressed that we were allowed by FX and, and Hulu to, to shoot so much in Japanese, because I think it was so important for the story to make it authentic. I don't know how, how you felt about that. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And I actually spoke with the creators of uh, Tokyo Vice uh, just a few days ago too. And, they they were also talking about uh, how they really pushed for uh, being able to to uh, have most of their show in Japanese uh, as well, uh, and it it wouldn't have worked otherwise. And I I agree that that's also the case here. Even though the, I know there was a, like a, a Orson Welles did the narration for for the English version yeah. <laughs> that they did on the original miniseries, but. Um, but that that just wouldn't fly today, I think. Yeah, this no, is I think the only the only authentic. show that was successful in English, even though it wasn't supposed to be in English, is Chernobyl because it's just so good, so strong. But it was only in one place. There was no culture clashes. There were all Russians also, so you yeah. could imagine. But otherwise, I've had arguments actually with mainly with European producers, Swedish and French. 
about shows that I've been supposed to be involved in sometimes, and they all want to do it in English. And I say, why? I said, why do you want a Swede to speak to speak uh, English in Sweden with the Swedish police? I mean, it makes no sense. Why not yeah. having Swedish English? And today, uh, I think it's we can do it, and it's so important to make it authentic because the audience feels it. Yeah, absolutely, and I, I think that. Um, like yeah, Parasite and, and movies like that have also uh, opened up that uh, kind of subtitle barrier that, that I know exists in, in mostly in the US. Uh, here in, in Europe, we're more used to in a, a few countries like Sweden uh, to, to have subtitles on basically everything. Uh, but I'm glad that that is spreading uh, to the US now uh, as well. Mm. Yeah, no, it, yeah. It, it's coming to the US, but it should come to Europe because now it's the Europeans, actually. And the Swedes are suddenly things that to get more money, they have to shoot everything in English. And it's not true, I think. Not for the yeah, platforms. I, I, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Well, uh, I, I thank you a, a lot for, for agreeing to, to speak with me, even though we, we can't go into detail uh, right now. But uh, I'll definitely pick you up on that offer to, to talk again no, when, to talk when the episode is when it's aired. aired. So we yeah. We can discuss more on how it was made. I think uh, when it comes to Lord of the Rings, <laughs> keep that out for the moment. I can let you know when I know more and you get priority. But just yeah, keep that, that out. That sounds yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, and uh, to, to round things off, um, I, I just want to say that, uh, as I stated before, uh, I, I really hope that people will, will give this uh, a chance. And I think that this can be one of the best shows of the year so so well uh, no, I, i'm going actually i'm in los angeles right now and i'm going to the premiere uh next week here in la and they're having a be beautiful premiere at the museum of motion pictures which is also very nice but i think it's it's i think we, sh we should also say that the actors involved the japanese actors are the top actors in japan today and they are all just incredible also yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's okay. Well, I'm so glad you liked it. I was so happy when I saw your message. Yeah. <laughs> well, th thanks a lot for, for taking your time to speak with me. And best of luck with the premiere now. And I'll right. definitely get back to you. And I send a little photo to you. You're going to laugh. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.